Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another walk with me and my baby girl. <laughs> if you're new here, I'm so happy to have you. And if you end up enjoying the content here, I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you also hit that notification bell as well so that you're notified when new content is available. So today I wanna to talk to you all about temptations. Have you ever dealt with thoughts that were tempting you to stop forgiving others? Have you ever been tempted to turn away from a ministry or a job that God has led you to? Have you been tempted to give up in a marriage or a friendship? Or have you been tempted to give up and live a life that goes against God's will for your life? If so, you're not alone. We all have our own temptations that we struggle with. Sometimes we're tempted when we're really close to God on a spiritual high. And sometimes we're really tempted when we have drifted away from the Lord and we're not seeking him as much as we did before. No one is exempt from Satan's plan to destroy God's people. You're not alone. But I want to encourage you with this. Don't let your guard down. When we don't keep a fence up in the real world, like around our home, we're welcoming unwanted guests and animals to trespass and ruin our home. So don't let your guard down. When we begin to drift away from the Lord, like falling away from a fast or not praying as much as we've done before or as much as we should and everything else that helps us build our relationship with God, we end up losing pieces to our fence. Don't let your guard down. Proverbs 628 says this, can you walk barefoot on hot coals and not be burned? And the answer is no, you're going to be burned. In the same way, if we fall into temptation, there is a consequence and it is going to hurt. There's nothing good on the other side. Turning away from God will only hurt you. Giving up on that friend or that marriage will only hurt you. Refusing to truly forgive will only hurt you. Turning away from your ministry will only hurt you. And living a life that goes against God's will and what is in the Bible will only hurt you. Just like the hot coals, if we fall into sin, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna burn us and satan is sneaky y'all he's gonna disguise his voice to make it seem like the thoughts that you're having are only from you but that's not true he's feeding you lies and disguising his voice so that you can fall into temptation so that you can turn away from god so that you can turn away from god's will for your life so don't let your guard down please don't let your guard down continue on the path that god has laid out for you Continue to wake up every day and choose Jesus. Even if you feel like giving up, even if you feel defeated, continue, continue on. And make sure you choose to say, like Jesus said when he was tempted, get away from me, Satan. As it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you share it with someone else to encourage them. I love y'all. Jesus loves you so much more. And I hope you all have a super blessed day and a super awesome week. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye!